What's up y'all, welcome back to the MG Cup Series. We're just jumping right into it since the recording stopped last time I tried this. So let's just get back into it. Jeff Gordon, your leader at this new layout of the Riverside Raceway, our fourth race of the season. And uh, yeah, officials hope that this new layout will help create a little bit of space as you see them going into it now. It's the full version of the track rather than the shorter version that we were pre previously using. This is the Can-Am circuit. And they're hoping with these extra corners here that the field will spread themselves out just a little bit more so they're not quite as bunched up as they were the first time around. And we'll see how that how that goes. But so far, you're still all over each other. Your pole sitter, Jeff Gordon, out in front looking to lead the first lap. Jimmy Johnson behind him, running second. Hamlin third, and here comes everybody else. A little bit of side by side back here. Cars dipping out of line. Here comes Jimmy McMurray, Dale Jr., and then a little bit of three wide further back. They sort this out. Dave Blaney in the 22 Toyota. And a car spinning further back is David Rudiman through the grass. Back across the track and look out. Gets hit hard by his team owner, Michael Waltrip. That car upside down. Waltrip's car is destroyed. Caution is out. Already. And that is exactly what we feared another terrible crash after what happened last year with oh we got a car spun on the front stretch too we were fearing after what happened last year with Travis Quapple that we could uh, possibly fix this but it doesn't look like it green flag back in the air That is the fastest part of the racetrack. Luckily, everybody is okay. David Rudiman shaken up, but could have been, could have definitely been a lot worse. Luckily, we escaped that. No injuries. Race is back underway now. Look how bunched up they still are. I think you're here. He starts and restarts. This will be the tricky part here today it's not it's not extremely common but we still we do still see it happen from time to time Jarvis getting aggressive on these restarts and, well Chris Mack defending well, I'm not gonna say defending winner of the race because I can't remember if he won last season or not but he's won here before we know he loves the road courses he's gonna try to win it again I'm on a newer layout. Same track though. Ball's back there. Three wide right here. Tony Rain, Sterling Marlin, and the 01 of Nemechek, or excuse me, Martin. But Mark Martin's able to escape. Backed out of it, and luckily. They made it through unharmed, but here comes the 66 of David Green to his inside, and now the mid-pack battle rages on, but out in front, Jimmy Johnson's your new leader here from Riverside International Raceway. The third race of our West Coast swing. We got a problem further, but oh my goodness, Chris Mack's car is destroyed. The front end of that 86 car all torn up. And where is he going? No caution. Mac driving that thing backwards down the racetrack. He's going to pull it in the pit road. And looks like his day is done. What happened to him here? No cameras were on him at the time. We're 
still rolling. The race continues, but man, what happened to Chris Mack? It'll be interesting to find out what happened to this 86 car as we go on board with him. Hard crash for the 86, and we do have a still camera at the end of pit road. And see if we can try to catch what happened here. There he is beside Brian Vickers, a little bit sideways through the corner, trying to carry that momentum. And it looks like he might have just cleared himself across the nose of that 86 or 83 machine and sent himself hard into that wall. Very unfortunate for Chris Mack there. As we will keep trying to find an angle of it. And it looks like we have found an, an an angle of this wreck. Watch it live. Oh my. Or not live, but watch this. And full speed. Not live, but full speed replay there. Meanwhile, out in front, Jimmy Johnson continues to lead as he goes up the hill once again. Jeff Gordon trying to close in, but can't quite. Looks like Johnson might have the better car in the long run. Gordon was a good short run car. It's easy to set these things up for qualifying and not the race. So we'll see if that if that has anything to do with it. That plays a factor, but Gordon looks strong early on. But now Johnson gets by, and we're gonna go ahead and take our quick break here. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Riverside, the battle. Tightening up once again. Gordon closing in on Jimmy Johnson. Johnson trying to hang on. Gordon pulls beside, no. Can't get his nose in there. Tucks back in. Nose to tail as they exit the S's here. Going up the hill now, hard breaking. Right hander, Gordon, can he pull his nose, get his nose in there? He's trying to pull to the inside. No, he can't. Still unable to get side by side with the 48 of Johnson. Jimmy Johnson playing some good defense here as Jeff Gordon tries desperately to get by and get back to the lead of this race. Now in a left-hander who can carry more speed on exit here. Looks like it'll be Johnson getting a better exit out of this corner as we sorry for the abrupt camera camera change. Gordon fighting back though, looking to the inside once again into this hard breaking right hander. He's got his nose in there. Can he keep it in there? Oh, he's way in there now. Johnson gives him plenty of space, but Jeff Gordon unable to clear. Kyle Busch coming up behind that number five car teammate to both of these guys. Can he reel them in? They're still side by side. Johnson backs out, gives Gordon a spot. Now trying to get back at him here in the final corner. Doesn't look like he will be able to. Jeff Gordon retakes the lead in this race. Gonna jump through a little bit more here. Doesn't look like anything will change. Now here comes the five of Kyle Busch. Hot on his tail with a handful of laps to go. there look at Jimmy Johnson closing in as well trying to keep his name his name in the hunt here that is what is going on in this Xfinity race watching it on TV here Anyways, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, uh, Gordon still trying to hang on to the lead. Kyle Busch right here, pressuring him, 
trying to get him to make a mistake. I don't think that's going to work. I think he's going to have to find that opportunity to make the move because Jeff Gordon is not going to make a mistake. He is one of the best drivers out here. Highly unlikely that he'll force Gordon into a mistake, but he's definitely staying right there. He's going to try and fill up his mirror and see if he can force some sort of uncharacteristic mistake out of Gordon there. As Gordon, a little bit wide on the exit, Kyle Busch going to the inside. He had a good run out of the final corner, but Gordon able to hang on, and now here comes Jimmy Johnson back into the mix as he passes that five car. Carl Edwards is in the picture, and Tony Stewart back there as well. Side by side now through the S's. Who's going to back out? Both of them do. Now Bush edges ahead. Here comes the 20 of Stewart. Peeking his nose in there. Can he get there? Trying to get it on the outside. It's not going to work. Not in this corner. He's going to have to tuck in line behind the 99. Meanwhile, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, back to being 1-2. This is how they started this race. Looking to finish it that way and battle amongst themselves. We jump to the white flag one more time around. Look at Kyle Busch. Wait a minute. My apologies, y'all. Let's go back because Kyle Busch on a tear here. Absolutely rolling around this racetrack. Flies back past Jimmy Johnson and then dives to the inside. Can't quite get there, but keeps the pressure on Kyle Busch. When's he going to get past? That five car is better under, way better under braking. It's gonna get him right here. No. We're getting closer and closer to the end. Kyle Bush running out of time. Gordon and Bush. Battling for the win. Teammates at Hendrick Motorsports. One, two, three. But here comes Tony Stewart up into the picture. Is Stewart clear Jimmy Johnson? Johnson going to try to fight back. Hanging on on the left side. Can't quite. Stewart's going to clear him. Johnson has a chance to try and stay in that draft. No. Here comes Carl Edwards to take the draft from him. Kyle Busch in the draft of Gordon here as he heads down the back straightaway this extremely long back stretch trying to build some momentum heading into this final corner here comes Jeff Jeff Gordon here comes Kyle Bush Bush way faster through this right hander that might be it for him right there I think we found where the advantage is for Kyle Bush that right hander white flag in the air one more time around for young KFB Kyle Busch clears Jeff Gordon and it's not looking back he absolutely drives away from that 24 car pulling away very quickly here the lead the gap growing and growing by the second Kyle Busch up through this right hander as long as he, as he keeps it clean doesn't make any mistakes he will be your winner Now heading into this left hander. Way too far away for Gordon to do anything. And look who came to spoil the party. It's Tony Stewart. He won here in 05. Trying to do it again. But I think he's too little too late. And a little bit too far back. If he wants to do anything with Kyle Busch. But he's definitely going to try to do something with Jeff Gordon here. As he gets right up on his back bumper. Trying to spoil even a Hendrick Motorsports 1-2 finish. But nice to have three of his cars in the top five either way for Mr. H. But out in front. Saw Kyle Busch heading into the final corner. Hard braking zone into the right-hander. 
Stewart not close enough to Gordon to make the move yet. Trying to get that run through the final turn. But out of the last turn, it is all Kyle Busch. He's going to win from Riverside. Checker flag in the air for Kyle Busch. Jeff Gordon hangs on to second by a nose. And Carl Hedwards comes on P3 or P4. Jimmy Johnson rounds out the top five. That's going to do it. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. And until then.